Hey guys, Alex here from alexfigures.com. Now, back in late 2021, I did a pretty epic uh, red light therapy body panel comparison series and I had 12 different panels in that series and the objective was to find the best overall body panel in the market. Uh, it was quite a project, a lot of time, a lot of energy went into that and it was well received. So thank you for everyone that has commented or passed on the um, you know, their, their feedback, so I really appreciate that. However, there was a common question and a little bit of controversy, controversy uh, after I published those results, and that was around the inclusion of the Platinum LED Biomax 600 instead of the Biomax 900. I've already explained numerous times uh, why I did this, and I'll touch on it again briefly in this video, but what I wanted to do is see how the Biomax 900, which I have running here behind me, See how that would have performed if I had included that in my um, comparison series. So I've just finished my full review of this, this panel, uh, which will probably be up by the time this video is up, so I'll put a link to that below. So that means I have, um, of all the data, all the specs, all the testing, it's all done. I've got the numbers, right? Which means what I can do now is replay that comparison series and score the 900 as if it was an entry in, in the comparison series and um, see where it would have placed. It's gonna be interesting. I'm actually really excited to see how it does go because I included the 600 instead of the 900 for two main reason, reasons. Firstly, the 600 won the 2019 comparison series. So I wanted to give it an opportunity to defend its title, I guess. And secondly, I, as I was about to go into filming, and I was still am in an R but I was leaning towards the 600, I learned that the 900, which I, the bigger Biomax 900, actually um, didn't put out the same peak power as the 600. It'd been throttled, it'd been downregulated a little bit. So I was kind of like, oh, well maybe it's not the better of the two panels, and I didn't have time to do all the comparison testing directly between them. So I was like, you know what, let's just do the 600 and um, we'll see how things go. So that, in a nutshell, was why I went with the 600. For those of you that have been following for a while, we'll also know that in 2019 I went with the 600 and then after that series was out I tested the 900 and I was like hey the 900 is a better panel. Now is that going to happen again? Well I'm going to be doing some head to heads between the 900 and the 600 and comparing this to the Mito Pro and all sorts of things. It's all going to be on this channel in the coming weeks and months so stay tuned for that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through all the data. I've got heaps of spreadsheets and tables and all that. I'm going to go through all the data. I've got the, the testing data from the 900 here. We're going to plug it all in and we're going to go round through round with my commentary and uh, update the scoring system and everything to see, yeah, if the Platinum LED Biomax 900 um, or see where it would have placed. Uh, who knows? Um, if you're watching this right now and you want to leave a comment at this point, what do you think? Do you think it will come out number one? Do you think it'll come out number two, the same position as the Biomax 600? Or do you think it would have, would have come in lower in the table? The big, the big difference is the price. It's a couple hundred dollars more expensive than the Biomax 600. But then again, the panel that came out, number one was the Mito Pro, uh, Mito Red, Mito Pro 1500, which is the same price as the Biomax 900. So maybe it shouldn't factor in. I mean, it's gonna be interesting, right? But of course, the other big difference is the lower power, the, the peak power numbers are off. Okay, so round one, Price, uh, the Biomax 900 with the discount code Alex would have come in at a price of $1,092, which matches the Mito Red, Mito Pro 1500. This means both of those panels would have got four and a half points each and come in at eighth equal. Remember the Biomax 600 placed um, third in this round. So straight away the Biomax is off to a slower start, but we knew that was gonna happen. So, okay, so now we're looking at round two power. Now, of course, I was testing on total wattage output rather than peak power, and I explained why I did that in the comparison series, so I don't, don't need to touch on that again. Um, so the Biomax 900 came in at, would have come in at first place because it had a peak, it had a total power wattage output of 147.7 watts. Previously, the Mito Pro 1500 was in first place with a figure of 136 watts, second place, light path LED 120, and in third place was the Biomax 600 with 101 watts. So that's a massive jump up, um, all the way up to 147. So yeah, the Biomax would have taken out that round 
even though it didn't have the same peak power as the Mito Pro or um, the Biomax 600, it, because of the extra LEDs, it would have come out number one there. So, so when we look at the updated standings after two rounds, we see the Biomax would have been second equal with the Red Rush 720. Previously, the Biomax was first equal on 20 points in this round. So like I said, the Biomax is a little bit behind because of the higher price, but already it's, um, it's playing catch up really fast. Okay, round three, value. Now, to be honest, this is where the Biomax 900 excels. I mean, it's got amazing power wattage figures and it comes in at a great price. The dollar per wattage figure was $7.40. Now that's the lowest, remember, remember lower is better. That's the lowest I've ever tested in all my years reviewing panels. So it's gonna dominate here and it did. It came out, it would have come out in first place. Um, second place of course was the Mito Pro 1500 on $8, $8.02. Third place Infrared Max, $8.30. Uh, and then it was the Biomax 600 $8.45. But of course that's not entered in this updated comparison. So when we look at the updated figures now, after three rounds, we see that the Biomax 900 is in second place on 29 points. Now what's interesting is the Biomax 600, after three rounds, was also in second place, but they had 30 points, right? Oh, it had 30 points. Uh, so yeah, sure, the Biomax uh, 900 is, um, start off slower, but it's catching up very fast. Now what else is interesting is the Mito Pro 1500, originally at this point, had 28 points. But now, because it's lost a few points in each round because of the superior performance of the Biomax 900, is now down to 20, um, 26 points. Still in third place, but it has changed a few things up here. So it's, it's going to be interesting to play, uh, see how this plays out. Okay, so round four, we had the EMF. Now, the Biomax 900 numbers were pretty much on point with the 600. They were ever so slightly... Um, higher at the three inch mark for magnetic reading. So it would have dropped down, originally the Biomax 600 placed second, the Biomax 900 probably would have come in third. Um, so the Jimbo Red reboot would have moved up. So not much of a change here. Uh, Mito Pro 1500 still would have come out number one in this place. So uh, changes things a little bit. Um, so we can see the Biomax would have placed third in this round. And then with the updated points, when we're looking at the table, we see that the Biomax is now in first place one point of head of the Mito Pro and the Infrared. Now, when I look back at the original data sheet, at this stage, the Biomax had 41 points and uh, was also one point ahead of the Mito Pro. Okay, so the LED rounds, of course, the Biomax 900 has 300 LEDs, which is the same as the Mito Pro 1500. And both the Mito Pro 1500 and the Biomax 900 have multi-wave technology. So, that would have meant that uh, the Biomax would have shared second place with the Mito Pro here. Uh, they would have both got 10 and a half points each. Originally, uh, the Biomax 600 only got 10 points. So it's a slight improvement for the Biomax 900. And of course, it takes a little bit of the points off the Mito Pro. So we update the table now. Uh, we look down here and we see that still the Biomax 900 is in first place with one point lead over the Mito Pro. And again, they've um, opened up a big gap over third place, which is exactly what happened uh, in the original series. So very interesting. Uh, I'm just looking back at this point in the original series, Mito Pro and Biomax were both neck and neck on 51 points. So for flicker and sound, uh, the Biomax 900, it would have came in a lot higher than the Biomax 600. And that was because when I tested the 900, uh, I was only getting a 48.7, 49 decibel reading, whereas the Biomax 600 was up at 52. So looking at the table now uh, for round six, it meant the Biomax 900 would have come in second equal, uh, shared the points uh, with three or four other panels, so it would have got nine and a half points there. Uh, and then when we look at the updated table now, we see that the Biomax 900 would have been still in first place on 59 points, which is actually four and a half points ahead of my, the Mito Pro 1500, whereas originally the Biomax was neck and neck with the Mito Pro 1500 at this point. So um, starting to see a bit of a trends emerge here, aren't we? Okay, so round seven, nothing really changes uh, when I update it with the Biomax 900 warranty. Everything was the same for the 900 as it was with the, nine, with the 600, sorry. So when we look at round seven updated score, Again, we see the Biomax 900 still on the top, Mito Pro second place, 62.5. Three more rounds to go. Okay, so in round eight, that was the big one. That was when we looked at Hotspot, and that's where the Mito Pro jumped ahead of the Biomax 600. Uh, they, they put a 
seven point or six and a half point lead over the Bimax 600 in the original series. So I updated this for the Bimax 900, uh, and I've given the 900 the same score as the Bimax 600. Um, though really, I need to have them all together when I did the big comparison. It's just I'm not, I, I can't do that at the moment. So I've assumed that the Bimax 900 is still going to put out a poor hotspot reading. Though it may not necessarily be poor, it could in fact be in the OK bracket uh, because it is the wider panel with more LEDs. But I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it as is just to see how things go. So the Biomax 900 in this case would have come out quite low on the table for round eight. When we update it, the scores, uh, we see that now the Mito Pro has jumped ahead just like it did in the original uh, series. But the points difference is only three points instead of the six or seven odd points. So the Biomax 900 is now in second place um, with two rounds to go, operation and everything else. So let's have a look at those. Okay, so for round nine, uh, the placings don't change again. The Biomax 900 would have got the same place as the Biomax 600. Uh, so we see that it would have come in mid table when we update the scores. Again, Mito Pro is out, of, uh, out in front by three points and the Biomax 900 is in second place on uh, 78 points. So um, one round to go, let's see how this plays out. Okay, so here we are, the last round, everything else. Uh, again, the 600 and the 900 would have scored in the same place here. Uh, it's, it's all standard sort of testing, you know, about the design and that. So what would have happened here? Juve would have taken out this round on top place. Biomax 900 would have got second with 11 points. And then a bunch of players would have come in at third equal, including the Mito Pro 1500. So, if we look at the table here, the Mito Pro 1500 still came out in number one place. The Biomax 900 came out in second place, half a point below first place, with a score of 89 points. Whereas, if we look at the original score, First place was Mito Pro 1500 with 92 and a half points and the Biomax 600 got 87 and a half points. So what does this tell you? <laughs> Firstly, it tells you that the Biomax 900 is a better panel overall than the Biomax 600. I am happy saying that because that's what my gut told me after doing this review and after using this, uh, the review of the 900 which will be published on my channel and after using this panel for the last few weeks. It goes back to what I said back in 2019, 2020. It's a better panel, it's a better value. The extra size, extra LEDs are better. Even with the throttled power in these new generation 900s, it doesn't matter because overall the panels are so much more powerful compared to the first gen panels. You're getting a ton of power, right? So I can happily say that yes, the Biomax 900 second gen is a better panel than the Biomax 600 first gen. Then I get asked all the time, and I know it's still going to get asked, which is better, the Mito Pro 1500 versus the Mito versus the Biomax 900. Now, I'm going to do a dedicated video answering this question. I'm going to break it down, all sorts of areas, uh, not just from a scoring point of view, but like practical use type things, all right? Stuff that I can't really quantify. Um, I'm going to do a video on that, so be sure to subscribe to check that out. But anyway, let's look at the scoreboard now. So there's half a point between them, <laughs> seriously. Round five, I wanna I want to break this down a little bit. Round five and LEDs. If we go back to that, you'll see that um, I've given them both the same scores, right? Now one could argue that the Biomax 900 should have got more points than the Mito Pro 1500 because the Biomax 900 has five different uh, wavelengths that it's emitting. The Mito Pro only has four and they both have 300 LEDs and they both don't offer pulsing technology. And if you're thinking that, hey, it should have got more points there and that would have changed the outcome, um, I'm gonna stand by my decision to keep them in uh, on the same points. Because even though the Mito Pro has four multi-wave wavelengths, it has a lot more power going to those alternative wavelengths. The Biomax only has 20% of power going to those alternative wavelengths. So that, <laughs> that's, even as I say this, I'm starting to question myself now, maybe I shouldn't have. Look, hey, this is all just for a bit of fun, right? Um, end of the day, we know both these panels are great. But So that's the first thing. The second thing I wanted to say was the hotspot round. Now, this is hard because this is where the Mito Pro took over and it happened back in um, last year when I used the Biomax 600 and it happened again this year. So 
When I did that hotspot test, I had all the panels there. It was actually like 9, 10 o'clock at night when I did this, I remember it. And I went through and I compared them all, I ranked them all, and it was quite easy. I can't do that now. I can't do that because I don't have some of the panels. The other ones I have are packed away. Like I just, yeah, it'll take me a whole day to do that test. So I've just assumed that the 900 was gonna have the same category points as the 600. But because it's wider, because it's bigger, it's, because it's got more LEDs, it may in fact have done better. And if it had, then it would have held number one. In fact, it would have smashed this. It would have been number one by a clear margin. Which leads me to the next point I wanna say. How important is this hotspot issue? Because if you've seen my dedicated 900 re review, you'll see in that video, I say, look, I, I, don't, I think I was overvaluing how important the hotspot polka dot effect is. Um, and part of that, there's a couple of reasons behind that, but part of it is because the new, power of these new panels so it's so intense you can take an extra inch back or two inches back and all that hotspot issues go away but you still get a massive irradiance so well yeah look the numbers are there based on my system and scoring that's how I came out the Mito Pro 1500 would have would have still taken out number one place and the Biomax would have been second and only just now um yeah hey I always want to do this for a bit of fun uh I mean like I said before end of the day these panels are great. It really depends on what you want, whether you value uh, having those multi-wave alternative um, wavelengths. I mean, if you want something like pulsing, you're not even gonna consider these panels, are you? So anyway, what I'm gonna do to, to really put this um, debate to bed, <laughs> I'm going to compare the 900 with the 1500 in a half an hour long video. We're gonna look at everything. Everything I can come up with plus my own experiences after using them. I hope you've enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. If you do want to buy any of these panels, discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, will save you a bit of money uh, and will help me continue to do these videos. Be sure to subscribe because I've got heaps of cool videos coming out and uh, check out some of my past videos as well. All right, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Bye.